Hello, my dear students, myself Dr. Nisha Varade, Department of Zoology, Shankar Lal Khandelwal College, Akola, Maharashtra. Have you ever imagined how DNA is organized in a new chromosome? In mammals, the length of DNA double helix is around about 2.2 meters. A length that is far greater than the dimension of a typical nucleus which is 5 to 10 micrometer in diameter. Dear students, what do you think? How is such a long DNA packaged in a cell? Today we will see this important concept of packaging of DNA in a chromosome. In prokaryotes such as E. coli, though they do not have a definite nucleus, the DNA is not scattered throughout the cell. DNA being negatively charged is held with some proteins that have positive charges in a region termed as nucleoid. But in eukaryotes, this organization is much more complex. Chromosomes are composed of thin chromatin threads called chromatin fibers. These chromatin fibers undergo folding, coiling and supercoiling to form chromosomes which are far more thicker and smaller than the chromatin fibers. In the nucleus, there is a set of positively charged basic proteins called histones. Histones are rich in the basic amino acid residues lysines and arginines. Both amino acid residues carry positive charges in their side chains. The histones have five classes out of which H2A, H2B, H3 and H4 are associated with DNA whereas H1 type is believed to be distinct from other histones. It is found bound to the DNA as it enters and exits and hold in place each nucleosome core particle. The histone core is believed to consist of the octamer of 8 histone molecules. They are arranged in the form of two flat tetramers of H2A, H2B, H3 and H4 placed one above the other. The negatively charged DNA is wrapped around the positively charged histone octamer to form a structure called nucleosome. It was first discovered by Roger Kornberg in 1974. The nucleosomes are linked with each other by means of DNA. Such DNA are called linker DNA. It remains coiled or folded but can be stretched by pulling. When the chromatin of nuclei is digested with endonuclease, the DNA breaks into fragments of about 200 base pairs. It can be said that a typical nucleosome contains 200 base pairs of DNA helix. The nucleosomes constitute repeating units and when viewed under electron microscope are seen as beads on string in chromatin. The beads on string structure in chromatin is packaged to form chromatin fibers that are further coiled into solenoid. This solenoid further condenses to form super solenoid structure at metaphase stage of cell division to form chromosomes. That means a 30 nanometer chromatin fiber condenses to metaphase chromatid of 1400 nanometer. This packaging of chromatin at higher levels requires additional set of proteins that collectively are referred to as non-histone chromosomal proteins. This organization of DNA into chromatin fiber and chromosomes is very much complex and the net result is that each DNA molecule is packaged into a mitotic chromosome that is round about 10,000 fold shorter than its extended original length. So that's all student for today in our topic general organization of chromosome. Thank you.